So hello uh, all, I am just going to read you a little bit of a uh, picture book today. It's a children's picture book that I wrote about two years ago called Spuds and the Spider, which was very much inspired by my absolute hatred of spiders as a child and still pretty much to this day. So I hope you enjoy it. Hopefully you can see the pictures now. Spuds, Pots of Gold was a happy leprechaun most of the time. He loved his home, Toad's Stool Cottage, which sat at the end of a rainbow and had its very own wishing well. He lived with his leprechaun wife, Rose Goody Two Shoes, and a teeny tiny field mouse called Steve, who meowed because he thought he was a cat. I don't know if you can see Steve there. In fact, there was only one thing that made Spuds upset. Spuds hated spiders. He hated their long, scratchy legs, their googly back eyes that swiveled and popped, and their hairy bodies that tickled when touched. There was one particular spider he hated most of all, and that was the tight spider living in the corner of Toadstool Cottage. Leggers MacWeb was the spider's name. Leggers liked making webs, writing poetry for lady spiders, and eating juicy, juicy flies for dinner. How they squished and crunched. Every night when Spuds, Rose and Steve were asleep, Leggers would wake up. He'd slip out of his little home, a crack in the wall of Toadstool Cottage, and weave an almost invisible thread from rafter to rafter, from window to door, over the fireplace and up the walls. Every morning when Spuds would get up, webs and threads would stick to his face. That leggers, I'll crush him, I'll stump him, I'll mash him, he would exclaim. Of course, leggers never heard a word. He was fast asleep, his tummy full of flies. Spuds would get out his feather duster and clean up all the cobwebs. He'd have to reach right up into the corners, crouch down under the tables, climb up into the rafters and check under the chairs. That spider needs a good squishing, Spuds grumbled and groused. It's only a little spider, his wife Rose said. He keeps flies away, flies away from our delicious shamrock pies. When I get him, Spud said, I'm going to squash him like a sponge. Rose shook her head and said, he means no harm, let him go. Just be kind, you never know. One night, Spud stayed awake, waiting for Leggers to come out from his little hole in the wall. Poor Leggers came out, all ready for a night of webs and flies, and BANG! Got you, Spud said. Poor Leggers was trapped under a basket. Spuds grabbed his leprechaun boot to flatten poor Leggers with its heel. But Rose shook her head and said, He means no harm, let him go. Just be kind, you never know. Spuds held his boot for a second, thinking. He knew she was right, so he put the boot down. He walked outside with a spider and tossed him into the garden. Promise me you'll stay outside, he said. Leggers the spider nodded and scuttled off. Although he was grateful he hadn't been smushed by a shoe, Leggers did what spiders do. He made webs in the garden, webs all across the gate, webs all over the gutters and webs all over the wishing well, where he found lots and lots of delicious flies and bugs. The next morning, Spuds glanced out at the window and saw threads all over his garden. That spider, wait till I catch him, he exclaimed. He put on his green suit and top hat, keeping one of his shoes in his hand. In the garden, he waved his boot at Leggers. I'll smush you to smithereens, he said, but the lepre his leprechaun cheeks bright red, but, shows sh but Rose shook her head again. He means no harm, let him go, just be kind, you never know. So Spuds let Leggers off again, and Leggers ran off into the fields. After that, all was peaceful in Toadstool Cottage. Steve the Mouse, who still thought he was a cat, chased other mice in the garden. Rose made beautiful lucky pies made out of shamrocks. And Spuds did what he loved doing most, making wishes in his wishing well outside. Sitting on the edge of the well, he made wish after wish, for crocks of gold and mounds of chocolate, new boots and a new green hat for St. Patrick's Day. One day, while he wished, he leaned over just a little too far and he slipped down, down, down until he landed with a splash. Help, he shouted up the well. 
It was such a long way, but Rose was too busy making pies to hear him, and Steve was busy concentrating on how to purr and not having much luck. There seemed to be no one around to help him. But then Spuds heard a sound above him, a rustle in the bushes and a whooshing through the air. A leg appeared at the top of the well, and then another, and then another, and then he saw googly back eyes and a hairy, hairy back. Leggers, he said. Go for help, I'm stuck. But the spider didn't run off. Instead, he began to do what spiders do best. What do you think he did? Down, down, down came the strongest, finest piece of thread. Leggers kept making more and more until finally the rope reached all the way to the bottom. Grab on, grab on, Leggers said. Spuds grabbed the thread. It was a bit sticky, but very strong. Bit by bit, he began climbing and climbing. Up and up he went until finally the hole got bigger and bigger and pop! He hopped out over the side and back into the sunny garden. My wish was answered, he said. I was saved, you saved me. He was rather glad now he hadn't smushed poor leggers. Of course, the spider said. I may have sticky webs and beady eyes, but I wanted to help when I heard your cries. From then on, leggers was allowed to eat all the fat, juicy bugs and flies he wanted in the garden. Rose even gave him one of her slices of shamrock pie, which he actually didn't like, but he was too polite to say. Leggers was happy to make a bit of thread whenever Spuds wanted a lead for walking Steve the mouse or, finish, or a fishing line to catch a nice bit of trout in a nearby pond. All was well in Toadstool Cottage. Hope you enjoyed.